I would love to introduce you to our next speaker, Dr. Hideiro Abe, that is working in Japan. He graduated from Niigata University School of Dentistry. He is the president of a great scientific association that you can also find the booth in the exhibit hall, no matter if you are in live right now or if you're watching us in replay. The uh, association is called the Japan Oral Development Association. He's owning two uh, nursery schools in Japan. And Dr. Hideo Abe is really standing all over the world in Japan, but also in Europe and especially in the United States of America for the development, for helping the growth of all the young children. He is a pedodontist that was dedicating his whole life to work on the growth on the development of all those children. That's why he became one of the most influenced speaker all over the world about this field. He will today give us the privilege to make a lecture for us about the changes in buccal muscle strength with Frogimov because we are also very glad to now count him as one of our fellow Frogimov users. Ideo, it's your turn to show us what you may do. Hello, everyone. My name is Hidehiro Abe, and I'm a Japanese dentist. I'm working on a wide range of oral function management from the age of zero, pediatric orthodontics and adult orthodontics with Invisalign. I will also introduce my cooperation from now on. <laughs> We have two nursery schools, Smile Crate 1, Smile Crate 2. There we do MFT voice training. There is a program to improve oral dysfunction. And we have a cafe here. Nutritional guidance based on oral nutrition is provided. And we have ICSI Family Oral Dental Clinic. The clinic has 15 dental chairs and an activity room that trains posture, breathing, and oral function. Finally, we have Japan Oral Development Association, JODA. The association holds seminars on oral dysfunction publishes books and provides information on oral dysfunction in magazines and other media. And we have a qualification system called Oral Manager. Currently, there are nearly 3,000 oral managers. Now, let's get down to the main subject. In normal swallowing, the tongue sticks to the palate, sucks the saliva, and send it to the throat. Abnormal swallowing contracts the vaccinator and mentalis muscles to send saliva to the throat. And this vaccinator muscle pressure is the very cause of narrowing the jaw and crowding. This is a video before and after using Froki Mouse. Froki Mouse を10週間使う前と後の動画ですね。でこれがまあフロッキーマウスを使う前の動画なんですが、こう口をぎゅっとこう力入りますよね、ぎゅっぎゅっと。で、しばらくすると、また口にこう、だんだん唾が溜まってくると、でこれですね、今、顎下がりましたよね。でこう、ほっぺたがちょっと引っ込みますたよね。もう一回ちょっと見てみましょう。顎が下がる。うん。で、ほっぺたのところがちょっと引っ込む。まあ、あのー、通常、あの、正常な人間では、あの、バイトするんですね。奥歯がちゃんと噛んで、でベローが口外について吸い上げる。でもこの子の場合は、あの逆なんですね
、口は取ってるけど、奥歯が開いてる。で、ほっぺたとベロがこうくっつくような感じ。ちょうどストローでジュースを飲むような感じで、唾を飲んでるわけですよね。これが不正常な演技。あの逆演技ってやつですよね。で、えっと、こういう、あの、非正常な演技をしているお子さんに、ブロッキーマウスを加えさせると、もう目が、目がキョトキョトしてて、ベロがベロベロ動いて、口の周りの筋肉がこう激しく動いて、もうどうしたらいいかわからないみたいなね。混乱してる感じですよね。落ち着きがない。こんな感じです。はい。これで、10週間、プロキーマスを使わせて、10週間後、観察してみると、こうなります。だいぶ落ち着いちゃいますよね。ちょっとつば飲むので少し口の前の筋肉も若干、全く口の筋肉使わないっていうのはないんですよね。でも、あの、10週間前と比べるとすごく安定して、唇の形もね、ちょっと薄くなってきてますよね。で、この状態で、プロキマスを加えさせると、前と違って、だいぶこう安定してますね。目はキトキトしてないし、口の前の筋肉もそんなに動いてないし、まあ、神経筋機構がね、変化したということですね。まあ、正常な演技にこう切り替わってきてる。安定してきてるという感じですよね。Thus, after using p r o c u m a s muscle tension is reduced and overall relaxation is achieved. I try to find out how the use of p r o c u m a s changes vaccinator muscle pressure. The JMS is a device that measures temperature to diagnose oral dysfunction. When swallowing this device, place it to the cheek area to measure vaccinated muscle pressure. I examined the vaccinated muscle pressure before and after having the patient use f l o c k y mouse. This is a result. Before using f l o c k y mouse, After using p r o c u m a s before, after, before, after, vaccinated muscle pressure decreased after using p r o c u m a s in all 10 cases. This is an amazing result. It seems that the use of p r o c u m a s Changed from swallowing using the vaccinator and the mental muscle to swallowing by sucking with the tongue. Decreasing vaccinator pressure will expand the dental arch and improve crowding. In addition, the tongue sticks to the palate, causing the growth of the maxilla, and it has the effect of assisting. Orthodontic treatment and preventing relapse. In v i s a l i n e and MFT were used for orthodontics in a patient with opposite occlusion, and it didn't improve. But as soon as I used the blocky mouse, the opposite occlusion improved. This is an interview with the patient.
かなかタッピングが今まで衛星さん等で、あの、うん、あの出なかった。それが、えっと、プロキマークをあの使ったら、あの一発で、あの、オッケーが出るようになったっていうことなんですが。うん、確かにどうなんですかね、うん、そこら辺。今まで、あの、音だけ聞いていると、できていると思い込んでいたんですけれど。毎回毎回、エセスさんから、オッケーが出なかったのは。最近、なんと使って、なんと一ヶ月くらいだったと思うんですけど。あ、これはいい、ちゃんと。ちゃんとなってるねっていうご発表いただけて、正直びっくりしたんですね。本来あのスキャンオーティストスキャンしたときにちゃんと出れば上に上がってたのあの普通一センチ一センチぐらい上げてくるときに見えたみたいな出るようなんです。なんか上がってるねって言ったらそうですか。なんか落ち着いても今までできなかったのにちゃんとできてたんで。やっぱりそれの効果かな。それまでは上がってなかったんですね。なんか上げてって言っても、なんとなく、なんかいまいちっていう感じだったんですけど、普段はなんか自然にいつの間にか出ればエアーズのスイッチとか。昨日の撮影で見たら、はい、え、ちゃんとなんか上がってるねって言ったら、ちょっと意識はしたんだけど、うん、その意識が今まで思わぬようにできなかったのにできてたんで、んなんか。特に意識しなくてもなくあの自然にそうなるようになったって感じだったんですね。はい The improvement in the opposite occlusion was due to her tongue sticking to the maxilla, which promoted maxillary growth and suppressed to the anterior movement of the mandibular anterior teeth. The tongue sticking to the palate at rest is not due to force, but To negative pressure. When swallowing negative pressure between the tongue and the palate, suck the saliva. She has been consciously training to raise her tongue, but she hasn't worked. Swallowing involves both voluntary and involuntary movements, but Training does not allow to learn the involuntary movements. She learned to unknowingly create negative pressure with her tongue by using floki marks. In conclusion, the effect of floki marks on oral dysfunction is very strong, and I'm currently using it in all orthodontic patients. If I correct more cases, I will make an English dissertation. Thanks for listening. Thank you very much, Dr. Hideo Abe, for this wonderful lecture. Uh, that's, I know that you are taking a lot of time to prepare. It has been a great honor for us to welcome you as a speaker during this Congress and also welcome your scientific association in the exhibit hall that everybody can uh, visit to have more information about the pediatric orthodontic uh, in Japan. My father that is there with me will have a few questions to ask you to clarify and to have more information about a few points on the lecture. It was a very uh, interesting uh, conference and uh, I think it was more difficult for you because uh, the Japanese uh, are more uh, relaxed uh, and uh, when uh, in Europe uh, we see a contraction movement of a peri or our muscle, Japanese are quite, and so it's more difficult uh, to have a lecture of the dysfunction. But uh, I think it will be uh, very interesting on young children to measure the gain in the transverse direction without appliance, intercanine or intermoral distance. Mm. Oh. 
実際は、えー、っとあのいわゆるあのインビザラインのアイテロで 3D で撮影をしてそれで、Actually, の検査機関とかそういったものを測定しています。I just have uh, personally uh, a last question for Dr. Hideo.、Uh, what is the technique that he's using to make the functional diagnosis? And how is he defining which patients do need for him of? What's the stuff that he will be looking like? We're speaking about the buccinator muscles. What is the first stuff that he's looking at when he's wanting to know if there is a functional disorder or not? Oh.、Uh... あのそうですね。ほとんど。あ、そう、when the you know, children have the you know, this、uh, alignment is not、uh, good, no good this alignment, and also the open mouth, no、so um, nose breathing, then using this、uh, your、uh, your tool, the foggy mouth. Of course, there are a couple of things like you know, if let's say the oxygen level is lower in the blood. Yes, he also l i k e to use just that.、Um, the most important thing is this、um, always like a nose breathing,、uh, open mouth, and also the back t w i s t alignment. Then、uh, he w a n t to apply the froggy mouth. I think it's、uh, pretty interesting to also assess the oxygen level in the blood to be able to assess that. So it's pretty innovative and I'm sure pretty efficient. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you、uh, for your contribution uh, to uh, understand and uh, uh, prove the, the efficacy、uh, of a froggy mouth. Thank you. Thank you very much,、uh, IDEO. We、uh, cannot tell you how grateful we are that you could be coming to speak with us、uh, at this Congress. We are coming back very soon. We are just going to display you a little video about how to put the froggy mouth on the mouth of the patients, a kind of video that you can also show to your patients to make them fully aware of what is the right way to use the froggy mouth. Thank you once again, IDEO, and we see each other in exactly one minute.